In this lesson, I will explain to you access end of substrings. Accessing ending of substrings, what does it mean? It means that end part of the string could be returned by using a substring with only the start index. If suppose we will mention here the starting point of our index and we are not going to mention the stop its default behavior is that it will print the complete string. Suppose here I say I want to start from zero index which is n and I'm not going to mention the stop index when I will run. Its default behavior is that the output will be the complete string no rule n. If I want to start from this L, write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I want to start 5, and I'm not going to mention the end point when I will run, so its default behavior is it will print whatever characters are left at the end. So default end index returns up to and including the last string character. Here I have made one more example, Robert. If I will mention only zero, run it, you will see the output is complete Robert. So simple it is, right? So here I have made a practice problem. Print the second half of the long underscore word. This is a word, this is my variable which is initialized by consequences. So you have to start, this is your this is your practice work, right? Just mention the starting point and it will complete the rest of the part for you. So this is the default behavior, access end of substrings. I hope it is clear. See you in the next lesson and thank you.